Okay, this is just a quick bonus question. If you are talking about these intervals um, and the alterations to these intervals, so the perfect group and the major group, which can be altered, generally you can take a major interval and make it bigger a half step, which it becomes augmented, or you can make it smaller by half step and it becomes minor. You can make it smaller by two half steps and make it become diminished. On the perfect side, you can make an interval bigger um, by just increasing the size by a half step and becomes augmented. Or a perfect interval that has been reduced in size by a half step becomes diminished. But that's just review. But there are a couple of these alterations here that are difficult or impossible, let's say. And your bonus question for this lesson is, can you figure out which ones there are? There are really two of them that are pretty interesting to talk about. So uh, see if you can figure out what they are and maybe put them in a comment below. And if you're in my class, I'll give you extra credit on your midterm exam. I can't speak for Dr. Johnson, but maybe he'll do the same thing if you're the first person to uh, acknowledge these. Thanks.